or anything growing up. Um, I was kind of more of like, I, I grew up on a farm and I played with horses and did sports and was kind of running around. I kind of had way too much energy to be inside, so I couldn't, I don't think theater would have really worked for me as a kid. Um, favorite film growing up, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, maybe? Or um, Home Alone, the second one, not the first one, which is rare. Or Ace Ventura. Um, I think it, it, filmmaking is filmmaking and I love all aspects of filmmaking and I'm also at the beginning of my career so I'm curious about doing different kinds of movies. I, I do want to be able to do kind of everything and not be told that I, I, I'm not going to be good because audiences don't recognize me from this or that. I, I kind of like to be able to do whatever I want without you know, being pigeonholed into one certain kind of area of film. I love Kate Blanchett. I think she's one of the best actresses that's ever lived. Meryl Streep, obviously. Laura Lenny, Gina Rowland, a woman under the influence, changed my life. <laughs> I mean, I can watch Bridget Jones' Diary over and over again, but Badlands, I think, was a really good movie, too. Beautiful. I loved Beautiful. Boogie Nights or Punch Drunk Love. I don't know, I love P.T. Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> oh, The Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski. It was incredible. I, I was such a huge fan of the Sundance Film Festival anyway, and when we got, got accepted, I was just so excited because I thought the perfect group of people would see it, people who were real kind of art house lovers, people who love real film, and I've always loved movies that come out of Sundance, and I couldn't be prouder to be there. And then watching the recognition grow uh, as the film got bigger and bigger at, uh, just at Sundance itself, just a matter of days, it was incredible. Okay, Jeff Bridges, um, Clint Eastwood, but maybe as a director. And um, Clive Owen, I think he's really sexy.